All right, artist, I finished my black and white drip. Now it's time for me to move on to my colorful drip. So if it makes more sense to you to start from the top, you can, or you can start with it like this. But you're going to start your colorful drips right under that dark black line. So that drip that's right under there, that's your first one you're going to do. It's up to you if you want to do a color family, like the primary colors, or if you want to do warm colors, or if you want to just do a pattern of your favorite colors, that is up to you. But whatever you decide, I do highly recommend making a plan and trying to stick with it. If you get off track, you get off track and it's okay. But if you make a plan, you'll be less likely to make a oops. So I know this first drip that I want to do is going to be orange. So I'm going to follow along here and just give myself a little bit of a guide just putting little dashes in there to show okay when i go back i'm gonna color this one all in orange okay good plan next one i want to do is green so same thing just kind of chugging along all throughout this drip leaving myself a little trail a little plan Next one, I want to be purple. And you can see where the copier stops. Sometimes you have to just continue the line. That's okay. And then the next one will be orange again. I'm going to do a pattern. Orange, green, purple. The secondary colors. Orange, 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 orange. And then the next one that would repeat will be green. I'm going to need to extend that line down, just like that. Now I'm going to go back and do the outline. So if I know that this strip is going to be orange, then I can take my marker and just trace that pencil outline. So I know, oh yeah, that's where my orange drip stops. Just like that. Go nice and slow. Aim for high quality work, no rush. And then you'll know, okay, now I can color this whole space in orange. See how I use that strategy of going back and forth? I'm just dragging the marker. That works really well for me to cover a lot of area. Just like that. So I'm gonna keep going until I've colored in all of my colorful drips. It's okay to leave these white up here, the black and white ones, but we wanna fill in all the colorful drips on the bottom. So take your time, do your best, and have fun.